technology in Northeast Florida and South Georgia. Pretty quiet evening here in Duval County, but there's two large thunderstorm clusters. The one closest to Jacksonville is in Clay County and in Putnam County. You can see quite a lot of lightning taking place out near uh, Petty Farms, down through Belmore and George's Lake. This particular thunderstorm is slow and it's moving off towards the east very slowly. You can see the outflow racing out from that. And so we're going to be seeing that put down some pretty heavy rain in that location and some of these showers will start to build around the Middleburg area and then around Jacksonville. Not too much happening right now as we zoom in very closely. You can see it's pretty quiet at the moment, but there's some light rain along Highway 301 up and around Callahan and we'll probably see a little bit more rain developing here from northern Duval into Nassau County and some of this rain tonight could last as late as midnight. It's not going to be widespread, but there could be a few showers. Here's a thunderstorm complex moving away from Val Dosta, and we'll probably see some more thunderstorms develop in the rural locations there of Columbia County. And as we put this rain in motion here over the past uh, hour, it is, like I said, moving very slowly. So that could add up to some localized flooding. And some of these showers, although they'll fade through the evening, they could last as late as midnight tonight as they try to drift slowly back towards the coastal areas tonight. Tomorrow, back into the heat, mid 90s for us to take us through the afternoon, even some low 90s along the beaches. We're going to be in these mid 90s in the next several days, but by later in the week, the lower 90s will be a bit more common. Rain chance is pretty high tomorrow. Let's take a look at through the evening tonight. This is the rain uh, in those inland areas trying to track back towards the coast. The moisture from what could be Hurricane Burrow will get absorbed into this cold front. And by Monday, Burrow will turn into an area of low pressure that will track along that front and take the rain up into the Ohio Valley. Now you can see the slug of uh, higher humidity and moisture coming through the northern Gulf, but we'll have our own backyard storms here when we take a look at the rain forecast over the next couple of days, uh, the amounts of rain here could be up to about two and a half to possibly three inches of rain. Now in Barrel's path, they could be getting five to as much as uh, seven inches in for 15 inches off the coast there, but that's not going to be on shore. And this is the look here now at the timing of the rain on Monday. Earliest pop-up showers around 1 o'clock and then really heavy rains throughout the afternoon, especially from 3 until 6. Rain chances tomorrow up at 80% because of all the odds of uh, everything coming together for a really wet day. Not just Monday, but Tuesday as well. Really soakers coming through. So 80% chance of rain on Tuesday as well during the afternoon. Tuesday, that rain lasting into the evening as well. And you can see uh, the moisture, it's pretty busy, but uh, the moisture is in place here in North Florida and Southern Georgia. So we'll have the risk for flash flooding more so than any other spot in the state of Florida. So putting it all together for you, pretty wet outlook coming up here the next couple of days. Uh, the forecast is calling for highs in the 90s right on through the week. And here we go. Pulling up the three day forecast and then the five days. So no big change there other than uh, extra wet moisture in the next couple of days, bonus rounds of rain, and then back to a little more, more normal pattern later in the week. Scott. Thanks, Mark.